Hello everybody, welcome to Leech Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode and hopefully better than yesterday's. Um, Alright, so what I have here today is the Barefoot Moscato out of California. Uh, it's a non-vintage, there's no vintage for this. And um, this was given to me by a good friend of mine, Bill. And not, not really because, you know, he's really into wine and he was you know, trying to give me a great bottle of wine. It was just, he doesn't really drink wine, and a friend of his, um, is that a little fizz action? Um, a friend of his was moving, and it was just a bottle of wine that he had, so he was like, hey, you, you like wine, take this. So, um, before I have some of this, let me preface, I've had this label before, not this particular um, varietal. I've had this label in the past, and I've never really been happy with it. Um, however, this particular wine got several um, good reviews from people, um, and I forgot to get it, but uh, it's actually in this week's circular for World Market, which I'm going to be going to a little bit later today to get more wine. Um, and I think it scored pretty well, but I don't know if it was a, a um, wine publication score that was like a, like a 90, 91, 92, or it was the California Wine Festival with all the wines, and that's in the circular got like 98s. I don't really trust wine festivals scores very often. All right, so let's let's check it out. I mean, it's Moscato is going to be sweet. It's probably going to be pretty good. So right now I'm getting like peaches. Um, you know, lots of lots of nice fruit in there. Really pleasant nose. The label, I think, says I'm supposed to get apricot, I think. Uh, so I might be getting some of that, too. I don't have a lot of experience with apricots, so... But I'm definitely getting the peaches. See how it tastes. good but it's all that it, it's it's the sweetness of it i mean it's not sugary sweet it's not really really like oh my god this is so sweet it's got some sugar to it um it's got a little bit of acid i get a slight tartness to it I guess it tastes like maybe peaches with sugar a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting kind of that that peach and sugar uh, flavor to it. It's got a little bit of acid. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's actually good. And it had a little bit of fizz to it when I poured it. So, um, don't really have any fizz right now. So, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I don't think I'd be giving it 90 or anything like that. Um, most of the scores I saw were uh, mid to high 80s. That's probably where I'd go with it. Um, I did see a few people give it some really low scores. And um, I think it comes down to a personal preference. You know, sweet wines are sweet wines, and it's it's not bad. I, I I'll, I'm going to be of the of the opinion that it's probably an 84 point wine. It's it it it's not my style. I mean, I've had some Moscato um, that I, I preferred. We've I've reviewed it on the show. Um, I just liked it a little bit better. Um, I don't think it's a bad wine at all. I think it's you know 84. Um, I think what it is is it kind of disappears really quickly. You get that bit of sugar and you get that initial, ooh, this is kind of sweet, and then it just fades really quick. I feel it's kind of thin. There's not really much to it, and I kind of expect a little more body out of out of the wine. So um, it's not bad. Uh, price, I didn't tell you about the price. Um, it's, these are normally in the 5 to $6 range. 
uh, <clears throat> per bottle, depending on where you are in the country. I did see some prices for $5.99 online. So, um, like I said, it's in the $5 to $6 range. It really just kind of depends on where you're buying it and if they're having a sale on it. Um, and, um, you know, there, there aren't many Moscatos out there for 5 bucks, <clears throat> 6 bucks. So, I mean, it's not like I'm going to say, well, you can get this same bottle for $6 elsewhere and it's going to be a better wine. Um, so, I mean, if, if, if you like sweet wines and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I'd say go ahead. I mean, I think if you spent a couple extra dollars and maybe bought something else, you'd probably be um, more pleased. But, you know, if you're on a budget, it's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say don't buy it. I say if you like sweet wine and you're on a budget, get it. All right, so something about the brand. Uh, this was founded in 1965, but uh, the guy that was in charge of it or who was the winemaker... Um, also, I had some premium wines, I guess, that he either sold or made. In 1973, he decided to concentrate on that, even though apparently Barefoot was doing really well, was outselling his premium wines. And uh, so he kind of just didn't do anything after 73. He just kind of like let it sit. And from what I'm gathering, it means he didn't make any wine under the label. Some people came in, they bought the name. Uh, 1986, they bought it, they relaunched the brand. Uh, so it's been that way ever since. Um, like I said, I mean, it's. It's not. It's nothing um, earth shattering, but I, I wouldn't say you know. I, I'd say buy it if you see it at the store and you want something kind of sweet and you know it's five six bucks. You know, upwards of seven. I'd say go ahead and take it. You know, buy it and, and you might enjoy it. Um, and uh, that's it. Oh, the grape uh, Moscato. Just just so we kind of cover this, Moscato uh, or Muscat. You know, if we remember the sommelier school from the Loire Valley, uh, Muscat is uh, a, a kind of a generic name for a lot of different grapes. There's a lot of versions of Muscat. This is most likely the Moscato Bianco, or um, which is the same grape they use in the in the western part of the Loire Valley, but it's the Italian name for it. Um, there are other Muscats, uh, Muscats, and uh, so if you see the name. Uh, it's, there's not just one grape. There's quite a few different grapes. There's actually some red grapes, and they call them black muscat. Uh, muscat. So um, there's different varietals out there with the same name. That's it. We'll see everybody again next time. Hopefully I'll have a bunch of wine from World Market and maybe other places. Have a good one.